Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't noticed, I'm using a new camera and I'm very new to it. I have no idea how it works. So I'm really nervous about it because I don't know anything about technology. You're just gonna have to bear with me. I don't even know how to set up my microphone to the camera yet, so I'm using the internal mic for now. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully you can see everything okay. But today we're doing a makeup basket for the month of April. I bought a few new things in March I wanna show you and then we will get into the products I'm choosing to use this month. So let's just get started. So first I wanted to show you some products I bought. This Essence stuff I bought at the very end of February and then these two over products I bought in March. And so I repurchased the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. I really like this. So I repurchased it and I also bought another one of the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascaras. This is like a fiber gel. I'm in the shade Brownie Brows and this is also a repurchase. And then another thing I bought, I honestly didn't think they sold it anymore and I'm really excited to see that they still have it. It's the Essence Blush Up Powder Blush. It's an ombre and if you see it's orange to hot pink and I am so excited to try this. Oh my gosh, I lusted after this last year when I saw it on people's channels and then I didn't see it in stores anywhere and I just assumed people stopped talking about it because it was discontinued, but it's back and I'm very excited to have it in my collection. And I think it was like $1.99 on the Essence website. I'm really excited about it. And then I bought two products from Ofra. I bought the Makeup Fixer Spray and I bought the Ofra Highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk. I use this in my Get Ready With Me and it's beautiful, I love it. And the Makeup Fixer Spray is okay. I, I compare it to like the Pure Miracle Mist because I don't think it has a ton of alcohol in it. I think it's alcohol free if I'm not mistaken. I do like using setting sprays without alcohol most of the time so that I'm not bothering my skin. And um, I still like using it to get the powder look down on my makeup. But the thing about this is number one, one thing you might not know is it's red. It's a red liquid which is weird to me, what is in there to make it red? And also I hate the sprayer. So I'm going to put this into an empty Mario Badescu facial spray container and use it like that. Um, I don't like the way it smells. It smells honestly like a body spray or like perfume. So these are the products that I have recently purchased. So the first drawer is eyeshadows and I'm going to continue using the Shade and Light Eye Palette from Kat Von D. This is in my current project pan, so I'm going to pull this out. However, I'm also going to pull out this Z palette here. It has a variety of shadows from ColourPop and Makeup Geek. I have an Urban Decay shadow here. I have a Tarte shadow single here as well. And I feel like I've been neglecting this. I only got it at the beginning of the year, so I do want to pull this out and play with it some more. And then I'm going to pull out my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. This is also in my project pan. I'm going to pull out the Jordana Mascara. I'm using this. I used this last month, so I'm just going to use it up until it's gone. And then I'm also going to pull out the Essence Make Me Brow. And then I'm going to pull out the Cat Eyeliner from Jordana. It has a really nice thin brush tip. So I'm going to play around with that some more this month. And I think that's everything from my eyeshadow drawer that I'm going to pull out. And the next drawer is blushes. Last month I pulled out the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in Beloved and the Milani Powder Blush in T Rose. And I really loved these both. I do really enjoy using those. And I think I also pulled out the Milani Luminosa, which I actually really enjoyed using. This is probably one of my least used blushes, but I was happy to pull it out last month and it worked out nicely. This month I'm definitely pulling out my new Essence Blush that I just talked about earlier. And I'm also going to pull out the Afterglow Blush in the shade Bittersweet from Urban Decay. I feel like I don't use this enough, and I would like to pull it out and see if I can't create some interesting looks with it. And I'm also going to pull out Tarte's Party, which was a little birthday gift from last year. In case I want to do any more neutral looks, I will pull this out. So those are the three blushes I'm going to use this month. And I also have quite a few perfume samples back here. So I pulled out five that I'm going to try to use up this month. I have the Mon Perry Eau de Parfum by... Yves Saint Laurent, I have Marc Jacobs Decadence, I have the Calvin Klein CK2, the Terry Mogler Angel Muse scent, and then the Rag and Bone Oddity perfume as well. I'll talk about them in my empties at the end of the month. I really need to be better about using up these little samples I have. I just kind of collect them and they sit around and I never use them, so I'm going to try to be better about that this month. Bronzers and contour is next. I used the Bobbi Brown bronzer in my last month's makeup basket and I actually hit pan on it, which I'm pretty excited about. So I'm going to put this away and focus on a different bronzer. I'm going to focus on the other bronzer that I have in my project pan and that is NARS Laguna. So I'm going to pull out this this month. And I'm also going to pull out the Kevin Aquan 
um, contour in the shade light. I never use this. It would be helpful to give it a shot and see if I even like it. It's an expensive powder and I would like to try it out this month. Highlighters are next. I'm definitely going to pull out my Ofra Pillow Talk highlighter that I just hauled last month. Beautiful shade. Definitely want to play around with this some more. However, I do want to pull a couple more out just in case I want something a little bit more for every day. Because I want something more for every day, I'm going to pull out the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer. It's a beautiful everyday shade and I think it would be really great for just when I'm going to the office. And if I happen to wear any shirts where you can see my collarbones, I'll pull out Flexitarian. Um, I used this on my collarbones in my Get Ready With Me video and I really liked how it turned out. And that's everything for highlighters, I think. The next drawer is face products like setting sprays, foundations, concealers, etc. There's a lot I want to pull from this drawer this time around. So I'm not going to use the Ofer one right away. I do want to use my Pure Miracle Mist and the Urban Decay All Nighter just a little bit more. I'm going to pull out my By Terry Hyaluronic Powder because this is in my project pan, so I'm going to use this. I recently bought the Smashbox 15 Hour Wear Foundation. It's the only liquid foundation I have at the moment, so I'm going to pull this out to be my foundation. And if I do want to use a powder foundation, I'll pull out my Bare Minerals Original Face Powder. I do have a couple primers that I want to use. I still have some of the Dr. Prant Pores No More primer left. It's almost empty, like you can squeeze out pretty much this whole thing and nothing comes out. So I'm going to have to cut it open and use what's left in here, but this will be done by the end of this month. I'm determined to use this up. I just, I keep forgetting to put primer on. I'll do my whole face and then I'll look down and realize I still have my primer that I never used on the table. So definitely going to try and get this done this month. And I also have two other primers that I want to use. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Primer. And I've only swatched this on the back of my hand. I haven't tried it yet. But I got it for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I only got it for like, I think, 19 bucks, So half price. And I'm pretty excited to try it. Sorry guys, I didn't realize it wasn't focusing. Hopefully the other products were focused on. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. I've been pairing it with the Smashbox 15 Hour Wear Foundation that I have. And I really like them together. So I'm going to continue to use it this month. And as for concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal and the Tarte Shape Tape. These are both almost empty, so I'm going to use them up. I'm also going to pull out my Kat Von D White Concealer, and I will use this as a eyeshadow primer. And lastly, I want to pull out the Besame Purple Powder. I used this last month to set my under eyes, and I really liked how it turned out. So I'm going to pull it out and use it again this month. And the very last drawer I have is lip products. I have lip balms and primers and treatments back here, lipsticks that are in bullet form in here, lip liners, and then liquid lipsticks. I'm definitely going to pull out the A Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi lip product. I really, really like this one. I'm also going to pull out the Baby Lips by Maybelline. This is in my current project pan. I'm also going to pull out Charlotte Tilbury's Bitch Perfect. It's a beautiful peachy color. Definitely want to use this a little bit more this month. I'm going to pull out two NYX lip liners. This is the shade Peekaboo Neutral, and this is the shade Sugar Glass. So this one's more of like a pinky neutral, and that one is more of like a brown neutral. As for lip products, I'm going to pull out the Stila Perla shade, the Stila shade in Lume, the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade in Madison, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade in Soft Lilac and the Kat Von D lip shade in Backstage Bambi. I think these would be really pretty colors for spring. And that was everything for my makeup drawer for April 2018. I really hope the lighting was okay. I really hope it was in focus. I apologize if some parts of it aren't in focus. Bear with me. I literally just got this camera in the mail yesterday. And I still have so much to learn. So I hope you enjoyed the video. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.